Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Unparalleled Universe for another action figure review. And today we're taking a look at the brand new Mafex Cyclops. And there's a lot to go over, so let's just jump right into it, starting with the packaging. First off, you are able to see the figure right in there. You can see most of the accessories that he comes with. Down here, we get a shot of the figure. It says Cyclops, X-Men, Marvel, Mafex, Metacom, all that good stuff. I always love how Mafex does this on the side of their boxes. It gives up that old school Marvel comic feel, so that is really dope. And it says it's number nine. 99 six inch and up here it says bag the banner get aboard something cyclops would say definitely but this looks awesome on the side we get a look at the figure itself we have a little graphic of cyclops's head up there an x logo down at the bottom on the back we get a look at the figure doing all the cool stuff that he's able to do it shows all the different accessories the multiple heads the blast effects all that cool stuff so that all looks really nice and then on this side we get a look at the figure again once more it says cyclops x-men and then it shows cyclops with his blast effect down here it says a bunch of bullshit and that's about it the box is collector friendly you can take the figure out and put it back in as you wish and i think that's enough about the box so let's go ahead and take a look at the figure all right so here we have cyclops right out of the box and i think this is a really good looking figure i think they did a great job with it the details on it are very well done i really love the shade of blue that they decided to go with it's dark but it has like a metallic reflective look to it it looks really really nice most of the yellow pieces are very well done and clean except for on the straps on the legs and we'll look into that in just a second here but aside from a little bit of sloppiness there the rest of the figure looks really really good and i know a lot of people are saying that the proportions look a little weird mostly because the upper chest looks a little big and a lot of people have said that the upper body looks kind of squished in comparison to the rest of the body but I really don't think that it's the sculpting that's at fault here I think it's the fact that the belt rides up a little higher than it should and it's making the upper body look a little bit strange but if you bring the belt down a little bit then it definitely looks better. And there's only so much you could bring it down because the belt is a pretty tight fit onto the figure and, you know, the shoulder straps and all that. They, they're pretty snug onto his body, so it's kind of hard to get any movement out of it. But you could definitely bring it down a little bit and it looks less squished, you know. But I think that's where those complaints are coming from. And to be honest with you, those aren't things... I mean... The proportions on this figure look fine to me. That's not really something that would have jumped out as a huge flaw in the way the figure looks. I find with Mafex, because of the price tag, people just want to jump on any little thing they could consider a flaw and just kind of blow it up, you know. And yeah, I get it. They're expensive figures. They should be as close to perfect as possible. I totally understand that. But, you know, realistically, I don't think the proportions are bad on this figure. So, in general, I think he looks awesome. Just check that out. Look how dope he looks just kind of standing there, man. This is a really nice looking figure. So I'm happy with the way he looks for sure. But let's go ahead and get in close and take a look at some of the details on him. Because he does have a couple of issues, but really nothing major. For the most part, everything looks good. And starting off at the head, I think this is a really nice looking Cyclops head sculpt. The figure does come with three different heads and this is by far my favorite because I just love the facial expression. It really screams Scott Summers to me. He looks very serious, no joking around, all about his business. So I think that's a really nice looking head sculpt. I do like the skin tone on it. I think it looks good. The visor looks good. I think the hair is nice too. You can see that it's brown with a bit of a dark wash in there. So that's awesome. And I just love this blue, man. Check this out. This is like a beautiful shade of blue. <laughs> that is awesome. And then here we have the X logo on the little chest piece here. That looks good. It looks very nice and clean. A lot of the yellow pieces have some sculpting work, but they don't have much paint. As you can see right here, there's a couple of lines sculpted in there. The shoulder piece have, has some uh, detail sculpted in there. Some more lines back here, but there's not a whole lot of paint. I do wish they put like a light brown wash in there. I think that would have looked good. And then down here, the pouches. They look good too, but again, not a whole lot of paint. And then we have the X logo on the belt that looks nice. So that's all good. Uh, right here, it gets a little sloppy. Check out the paint on the straps on the legs. You can see that there's some blue onto the yellow there. So that's pretty unacceptable for a figure that costs this much. So that really sucks. But uh, these straps look good. You can see they put a little bit of paint in the spaces there. So that's cool. And moving down here, the legs look okay. Uh, right here, it doesn't look as sloppy as it does right above so that's good and even the sloppiness right here it sucks when you when you find it and stuff but for the most part you're not really going to see it unless you're taking shots from above the figure which i guess is definitely possible but i think for the most part that's kind of out of the way it still sucks but at least it's out of the way and then on the wrist piece we do have a little bit of paint in the spaces as well so that's cool 
Another thing that I really like about this figure and that I like about Mafex in general is the way that they cover up the pegs on the elbows and the knees. I think that's awesome. It makes the figure look more like smooth and realistic. So I think this is dope. They did it right here on the elbows and then the same thing right here on the knees. So that's awesome to not have to look at the pegs. So yeah, there's not a whole lot of paint on the yellow parts. They definitely could have put a little bit in there and uh, just added a little bit of detail to this figure. But I think overall, the figure looks really, really nice. I do wish there wasn't the paint stop on the legs. For the most part, the figure looks really, really good. And then for the accessories, he does come with a bunch of really cool stuff. But let's go ahead and start off with the hands. First off, we have a set of fists. And then we have a set of open hands. And then we have a set of hands where he has his two fingers extended. So you could make it look like he's doing his blast effect by putting them up to his head. And then he does come with three different heads. The first one is your standard Cyclops head. I think this one is very well done. I like the sculpting work on it. The hair looks nice. The visor looks nice. Everything about it is good. Next up, we have this one here where he looks a little bit more angry, but I don't like this face as much as the other one. I'm not really feeling the way the teeth came out. I do like the smoldering effect coming out of the visor, but that thing there seems very fragile. So I would advise to be very careful when handling that and trying to remove the visor because that thing could definitely just snap off. And then the last head is an unmasked Scott Summers head, which I think looks really good. I do kind of wish the glasses had like a red effect in the lens. I mean, there's a slight different color in the lens, but it's not like bright red like I feel that it should be. But aside from that, it looks very good. And then he does come with a like a cowl down, visor down kind of effect piece that you could put around his neck. And it makes it look like he just removed his his visor and his mask. So that's really cool. And he does come with two different blast effects. The first one here has like a wide crazy blast and the second one has a more thin kind of more focused blast. And both of the blast effects that he comes with do look really nice. Starting off with this one here. I like how it has the white down here at the beginning and then it kind of fades into the translucent red. So that's nice. And then we have this one here that looks a lot thinner. So these are both really cool. And the way that you put them onto the figure is very simple. He does come with this little interchangeable visor piece and all you have to do is take off the visor that's on the head and it's a little hard at first but once you get it off for the first time it uh comes off pretty easy but you just stick that visor into there and then you could stick the uh, blast effects right into the space in the face there so let's go ahead and do that give me one second and there you go so that's really cool and they sit pretty deep into the face, so you don't have to worry about them falling off or anything like that. So this is really nice. And let me just show you real quick. When it comes to the alternate head that has the little smoldering effect, you want to be very careful because this can break. My advice to you when you take this off for the first time is do it from the opposite side of where the uh, effect is coming out. And just get your nail in there and just be very careful. Just do it very slowly and you should be able to get that right off without a huge problem. And really, only the first time that you're trying to take it out is it really hard. Once you get it off a couple of times, it, it comes off with no issue. So please be careful. It would really suck if you paid 90 bucks for this figure and, and this thing broke on you. So please be careful. And now for a bunch of size comparisons, here we have the Mafex Cyclops alongside the Marvel Legends Tiger Stripe Wolverine from the Lover's Triangle 3-pack and the Mafex Tiger Stripe Wolverine. And as you can see, Scott Summers is taller than both of them, so I think that he works pretty well with either line. If you want to stick him in with your Legends, I think he'll look awesome there, but he still works pretty well with the Mafex one. I do kind of wish that the Mafex Wolverine was a little shorter compared to Scott, but as you can see, Cyclops is definitely taller, so it does work. But I'm used to Wolverine being like a runt and much smaller than Scott Summers. But so that's just my personal preference. But I think what we have here works out perfectly fine. Scott is taller than Wolverine, and that's what counts. I do like the height of this Wolverine next to the Mafex Cyclops. I think that works out pretty good. So yeah, either way, it works. So and then next up we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Beast from the Caliban Build a Figure Wave. But this beast here has a custom head made by Sculptor Shelf. But I think he looks awesome next to this Cyclops figure. And then on the other side of that, we have the Marvel Legends Jean Grey from the Lover's Triangle 3-pack, and I think he looks great next to her too so that works and then here we have cyclops alongside the marvel legends iceman and marvel legends magneto and then now here we have them alongside the mezco 112 collective jim lee inspired cyclops and the marvel legends jim lee inspired cyclops and i think this is going to be like a huge debate as to which one of these three is the best out of all of them um, i mean it's pretty close all three of them bring something to the table 
and I think all three of them are really good figures. So I do look forward to doing a comparison video with the three of them. Let me know your opinions in the comments of this video. Let me know which one you guys think is the best and why. And then next up, we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Gambit and the Marvel Legends Jubilee. And I would absolutely love for Mafex to do a Gambit figure. I think that would be incredible. And then now here we have them alongside the Mafex comic book Spider-Man and the Mafex comic version of Venom. And then here we have them alongside the SH Figure Arts Age of Ultron Captain America and the Marvel Legends Havoc. Next up, we have them alongside the Marvel Legends Cable from the Sasquatch Build-A-Figure Wave and the Marvel Legends Sinister from the, what was it, the Wendigo Build-A-Figure Wave? But uh, yeah, I think both of these characters look great next to this Cyclops too. And for the final size comparison, as always, we have the Marvel Legends Pizza Spider-Man and Marvel Legends Bucky Cap. And I hope that was enough size comparisons for you guys to get a good uh, sense of how Cyclops will fit in with your Marvel Legends and your Mafex figures. And as far as head swapping possibilities for the three good Jim Lee Cyclops figures that are out now, um, we have some potential, but there's nothing really that works naturally. If you want to make something work, you might have to modify things, but let's check it out. So taking off the Mafex head. We could put the Ma the uh, Mezco one on there, and it does look kind of cool. Check this out. But it's not like it pops on or anything like that. You would have to fix the peg to make that work. And you can't really get the Mafex one onto the Mezco one. But I don't think that would really work anyways. I feel like it might be a little too small. And then for the Marvel Legends one, let's see what we have. I did see Robo from the Foosh do his uh, signature move where he takes out the little insert. And then he's able to pop this onto the Marvel Legends body. I'm not going to do that because I don't really have any desire to have this head on this body. But if anyone's interested, it does kind of look cool. And you can make it work without too much uh, effort. And then let's see if the Marvel Legends one looks cool on here. Uh, yeah, it looks good too. That's a good uh, head sculpt. So, you know, personally, I'm going to leave the the heads where uh, on the bodies that they came with. Because I think they look the best there. But if you want to switch things up... You know, you have some possibilities. So. And just in case anyone's curious, here's a look at the Mafex Cyclops with the Mezco Cyclops jacket. And it fit right on there without any hassle at all. So I think that's pretty cool. And that's a pretty dope look if you want to go with that. And one more thing that I wanted to point out about this figure is the fact that he feels real good in hand. There's no QC issues, no loose joints, the pegs feel strong, they don't feel like they're going to break when I'm switching out the hands, nothing like that. And I mean the only reason I want to bring that up is because I know that Mafex is hit or miss when it comes to those type of things. So thankfully with Cyclops everything feels sturdy and he feels real good in hand. So that's very <laughs> comforting because you never know. Sometimes you could open up a Mafex figure and things don't quite feel right, the pegs are smaller than they should be and they feel brittle with cyclops there's none of that going on he feels real good so i'm happy about that so now on to the articulation and this is really exciting because he's got a lot of really great stuff going on so let's go ahead and get into it first off his head is on the typical Mafex head and neck situation. So you have movement where the lower neck meets the torso and where the upper neck meets the head so using both of those you could get him to look up to about right there which is awesome you could get him to look down a really good amount to about right there so that's good and then you get some tilt both ways so that's really nice and then obviously you can move his head side to side so that's good and then for the torso we have a mid torso cut and a waist cut using both of those you can get him to bend forward to about right there which is good let's see he might be able to get a little bit more actually but I think his straps are kind of getting in the way but still that's pretty good right there so I'm happy with that and then you could get him to lean back a really nice amount. But then the belt and the strap thing is kind of going to get in your way. Only just, but not really get in the way of achieving the pose that you want to. It's just kind of, it's going to be a little annoying because it's going to move around on you. But he can go back to about right there. And then you get some side to side. Look at that. You can move to the side a really good amount. And you could move to the side or you can all the torso movement could be done at the waist or at the mid torso. But using both of them together, you get a lot of really great movement. And then you could twist at the mid torso. You could kind of twist at the waist. Yeah, there it goes. So that's a, a pretty good torso movement there. And yeah, so I, I like this torso setup a lot. I think it works really good. And then for the arms, you have the typical Mafex uh, shoulder joint, which is awesome. You could get his arm to go way back like this. You could bring it in front of him like that. So that's really good movement at the arm. And they can go all the way around. They could come out to the side. You have upper bicep swivel. Double jointed elbows, which are great. Look at that. 
You can have them flex for Gene. Bam. There you go. So that looks really good. And then we have a swivel at the wrist and a hinge at the wrist. And you do have a little ball joint in there so you could move it around and swivel it different ways if you like. So that's nice. And then for the legs, we do have the drop down hips. There we go. So his legs can come out to the side. You could pretty much do the splits. You got to kind of work with them a little bit. So that's nice. He could kick forward to about right there. You could bring him back a pretty good amount. And then you do have a rotation or a swivel at the hip, but it's kind of buried in there. But you could definitely see it. Check out the swivel there. So that's good. And the pelvis piece is a soft piece of plastic, so it covers the joints but doesn't really get in the way of the articulation at all. Plus, you have the drop-down legs anyway. So, And then we have double-jointed knees, which bend to about right there. There's no lower leg swivel, but you do have a ball joint at the ankle, so you get your swivel there. You get your rocking ankle. You, you could get his foot to go forward to about right there. You could bring him up to right there. And then you have a toe joint. Bam, there we go. So yeah, some really good articulation on this guy. The straps do kind of get in the way while you're messing with it, or depending on what you're trying to do, they kind of get in the way, but it's not too bad of a problem at all. So I'm really, really happy with the articulation on Cyclops. They really went all out with it. All right, guys, so overall, I absolutely love this figure. I think they did a great job, and I think that it's awesome. I love the blue on it. I love all the accessories that he comes with. The articulation is amazing. They really packed a lot of good stuff in there, and I think the figure looks awesome. Yes, he does have some flaws. The paint slop on the legs is definitely unacceptable, but, you know, it is what it is. I already have the figure. It's not like I'm going to send it back just because of that, but it does suck that it has that stuff, and I do think that the rest of the figure would have benefited from a little bit of paint work on the yellow parts if they would have put a little bit of dark brown wash on the creases of the pouches and stuff I think that would have benefited the figure overall but as is I think that it looks incredible and I know a lot of people are going to pick out the flaws on this figure and just shit on it and talk about how it's not worth the money and you know every you're entitled to that opinion if that's the way that you think but me personally I'm happy with this figure and I'm really glad that I bought it because it's a damn near perfect version of Cyclops. It does have a couple of issues. And, you know, I, I'm not going to say right away that this is my favorite Jim Lee Cyclops because there are some other really good options out there. But at the end of the day, I'm really happy that I bought this figure and I'm satisfied with my purchase. So when it comes to figures like Mafex, I definitely suggest checking out as many different reviews as you can before you purchase them because, I don't know, Mafex always has like drama, you know, they'll come out with the figure, a lot of people will like it, some people don't, and the next thing you know, everybody's arguing over it, like Wolverine. I feel like we might be in a similar situation with Cyclops. But anyways, let me know what you think of this figure. Do you plan on picking it up or are you already happy with one of the Cyclops figures that you already own? There's other options out there. So if you're good with those, there you go. But let me know if you plan on picking up this figure and let me know what you think of it. I think that's it. So thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Thank you very much. Peace.